Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the 8th episode of Hikikomari Kyuketsuki no Monmon. Last episode was definitely an action-packed episode. We had our full-on battle royale, free-for-all, whatever it's called, uh, battle. And definitely blood has been spilt, some more violently than uh, than others. But when we ended off with Sakura and Komari, Sakura kind of doing her mind refrain thing to her, so... And then we just kind of like smoothly transition into the ED beyond that. But yeah, I assume we're going to pick up pretty much where we left off from there. So yeah, let's jump on in and see how it goes. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please click that like button and support me on Patreon to get access to the picture in picture version. So let us begin in three, two, one, play. Hey, you're in space. Hey, couches. <laughs> Couch in space. Doesn't get better than that. <laughs> I like how it maintains its position somehow. <laughs> okay, I mean, can't imagine a better place for a chat. <laughs> That's a lot. Memory Planetarium. Don't argue with me, it's pretty. So gonna get some real Sakura stuff. <laughs> yeah, sister. <laughs> yeah, come on in here. So yeah, we could definitely get a deep dive into Sakura this episode, which I would love. <laughs> well, I love come on again and a deep dive into her, you know, spe specifically. She is her bestie after all. Gotta hate all that paperwork, huh? Grab that microphone and sing to your adoring fans, cool buddy. And there are our sisters that look like clones of each other. <laughs> Wheels of Asterism. Until the Fire Nation attacked, I know. Probably. <coughs> That's adorable. It does seem pretty powerful. Definitely familiar name, yeah. Ooh, that's a lot of that's a lot of blood, oh my god. Uh, Jesus. That is absolutely horrifying to look at. Right, it's what I figured. Uh, 
They are bad people. Episode title drop. Definitely useful. That's gotta be pretty tempting. Kill the enemies of Inverse Moon. In that part too, yeah. I feel so bad for Sakuna. She should not have to go through this. She did nothing wrong. But that, that's wrong, but you know what I mean. <sighs> yeah, that crater is still impressive. But... <laughs> well, when she goes Super Saiyan, yeah. Okay. Uh, scare me a little bit, Sakuna. <laughs> Yeah, this is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> but you, you can't be doing this, Akuna. I mean, she's already your friend, just... <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's also already, you know, on <laughs> Yeah, that's a deal breaker right there, getting killed. <laughs> It is, yeah, it is kind of wrong to do that. <laughs> no arguments here. <laughs> yeah, she definitely needed that. Definitely true. You can be both. <laughs> you can always call me on HM. <laughs> oh, God, that was cute. <laughs> way, way better than her killing her and manipulating her memories for sure. We're having a moment, dude. You're being really rude right now. Ah, I figured somebody would have had to ruin it. Ah, screw you, man. Ah, come on, go kill this guy. You have my permission. Oh. Yeah, we gotta teach you a lesson. With our pinky finger.
How would I don't? Joy pissed me off treating her like that. It's about what I expected, but... Uh, maybe if we attack him at the same time... Uh, uh, definitely not a fan of this abuse of the characters I care about. I mean, there's, yeah, there's no way Sakuna is just going to stand back and let this happen. Oh. She's saying, screw you. Tell him. This is what I want to hear. Yeah, how about I don't do that? I love her angry voice, though. Oh, I'm serious. <laughs> Show you what I got. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Dust Tail Comet. <laughs> Gotta keep that space theme. Oh, I'm playing baseball now. Rain down upon my enemy. Destroy him in the name of justice. Ha, ah, there we go. Some damage. That's what I want to see. Now if we can just get some more of that. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. It's just trains the trajectory. It's simple, but it looked really cool. And you can't dodge in the air, so get wrecked. Yeah, stab him. Ha! Ah, oh no. Bad timing for that. It's like a side effect of what we took. Because uh, this is definitely a bad time. Uh, not more... <laughs> not more punching Sakuna, please. At least she landed next to Kumari, but still, not okay. It's your turn to power up and attack him, Kumari. Luckily, we have a minute before he gets that sword, but... Oh yeah, that was brought up, wasn't it? But, yeah, that's always a risk there. But, like, I don't know if we have a better option right now. We should probably mouth to mouth the blood to make sure he gets in. Oh, no, never mind. I guess, I guess it's fine. Unfortunately. But, <laughs> she's ready. <laughs> so, yeah, what were you saying about her being weak again? Please remind me. Oh, I should get it. Oh, okay, yeah. Jay, you, for a second. For a second, I thought she was going to kiss her. I feel like I got teased there. But, oh well. You got me excited for nothing. But I'll take what I can get. The blood sucking was still pretty hot. But I can't be the only one that thought that was going for a kiss right there. But anyway. Let's focus on what's actually happening. Ready for a second critter. <laughs> Look at her beautiful flowing hair. Those piercing red eyes. <laughs> I always love Kamari when she gets like this. She becomes your worst nightmare. Whoever her enemy is at the time. <laughs> As a vampire should be. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Damn. 
Maybe. maybe. <laughs> A nice little flashback there we got. It was short, but it got the point across. Yeah, just look at those eyes. You, you can get lost in those eyes. As she kills you. Are we healing her? Yeah, we are. Thank you, that eye was really bothering me. The damage. Yeah, just that good. <laughs> I'm a strong independent vampire that don't need no dark core. Yeah, he really should. <sighs> Basically forced to. Yeah, you you had your chance, you threw it away, so enjoy death. <laughs> Would you like to reconsider your position yet? It's okay, we can keep talking until you do. Oh, right here. <laughs> Giving you the cold shoulder. Yeah, he wasn't using that for anything good anyway. I wish he threw it, like, I wish he hit him with it. That would have been even better. Like, smack him with his own frozen, severed hand. <laughs> This is basically being a super stamp right here. Fighting like an earth like an earthling, you know, like a Yamcha. You can tell it's getting desperate, but I think he's still Jungle region, huh? So what did he just teleport away? <laughs> yeah, they're not a big fan of it. Per <laughs> you probably have something important to say. <laughs> or something important to do, rather. <laughs> yeah, you don't. We're not gonna make you friends, I don't think. Oh, everyone. Yeah, he is so boned. Now this is karma right here. Yeah, you treat people like tools. They they, they usually don't appreciate it. Especially when you use it as a justification to treat them however, however you want. Not 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 cool. <laughs> Zamba, you know. Pretty much exactly my sentiment. <laughs> Where would be the fun of that? <laughs> Definitely a nice ending for him. <laughs> Is that Kamani's arm? Did she make it all the way here? Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, you can't run away from me, bitch. <laughs> and you just don't learn, do you? Yeah. <laughs> she just hunted him down after he teleported away. That's so awesome. Uh, I love this show. <laughs> and the other half of the... The other aspect of the show that I love. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. <laughs> You're kind of a... You just kind of ruin the fun, don't you? Come on. <laughs> I don't think Bill Hayes enjoys being ignored for another woman.
She will always be your big sister. Yeah, come on, he's such a nice girl. <laughs> Just straight to the point. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I killed you. <laughs> Power is definitely respected in this world. <laughs> okay. Low precision. Shots fired. Yeah, that would have been... I would have preferred that, but... But, on the flip side, yeah, it was very satisfying for her to do what she did, so... I get that perspective, too. I mean, a lot of people on the show are strange. It's it's all good. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> nice. That is the best thing. Who, of course, forgives her. Well, what would make you feel better then? Maybe, uh, perhaps a spanking? <laughs> is that a, is that a punishment? <laughs> She's like, what did you say? <laughs> yeah, because that could be taken as go out with me. So, you know, in a romantic sense. And I think that's how she took it. <laughs> Hikikomari, after all. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That is not a punish, punish, punishment at all. You know, sisters, besties, everything. <laughs> Komani. Komani-chan? Okay, Komani. That's what I call her. And I'm not even her friend, so... <laughs> like, what is this NTR going on right in front of me? That is definitely true. Ah, uh, that dude. We saw flashbacks of him, I think. Like, wasn't that the guy that trained uh, Millicent? Yeah, that's very ominous. A Sapphire Tea Party. That preview really didn't tell me anything. But okay. That was the eighth episode of, yeah, Hikikomari Kyuketsuki no Mon Mon. So this episode, man, there was a lot to this episode, really. I mean, we got the uh, the mind trippy stuff, right? The space couch to kind of get the full 
bit more of a complete picture on what's going on with with uh, Sakura and all that. So that was good to get. We got to see the family and having a great time up until Inverse Moon just ruined it all just, just because they had use for her power and they wanted to put her in a position where they could use it, right? Just really messed up behavior. That shot of just all the blood and the limbs and everything, that was just really hard to look at. But yeah, just the, the ritual article, you know, it just, it's not a good thing. But Sakuna's ability to just like kill someone and manipulate her, their memories, very, very useful no matter what your evil scheme is. You can find use for that for sure. And we definitely had some examples of it being used, you know, right? But, uh... But luckily, yeah, not, it didn't get too bad between Sakuna and Komari. You know, we were able to kind of like talk things out and, and able to hug and had a little bit of a like a glomp go on, which was nice. Up until freaking, what's his name? Old, old Dylan? That's whatever, the, the dude, right? Up until he showed up and just ruined it, just abusing our girls here, just mostly Sakuna. Just not okay. Definitely not fun to watch that sort of thing. But. Uh, it was great getting the like uh, the angry voice from Sakuna. Like she already does really good, you know, pleasant to listen to, cutesy kind of voice, but also doing that angry voice really well. Like who's her voice actress again? Uh, Iwami Monica. Do I know her for anything else? Let's see. Oh, she's right. Shower. Oh, that's cool. Uh, anything else? Up and down with, uh... Okay, Akane and Oshinoko. Oh, she was Yuffie in Tensei Ojo to Tensei Ojo no Maho Kakume. Yeah, definitely can hear it now, yeah. She was pretty good in that role, for sure. Oh, and she was in Kunoichi Tsubaki. That's cool. A less important character there, but still. But, uh... But yeah, basically, yeah, it's almost like uh, Hanakana, the way she... Because Hanakana is also really good at doing that, going from those two extreme voices for the character. So yeah, very good stuff here. And the way she's like down that special drink and special elixir, you know, the big magic circles in the sky, raining down her power like a meteor shower. It was great. And when she like, like when she, I want to watch it again when she read it for a direction. If I don't go past it accidentally. Yeah, she basically just like, <laughs> just the way the hands would like, just like stop, move forward, and then launch it again. Like the hand movements for that were just so perfect. And so I know it's a weird thing to focus on, but I was just really satisfied with the way that 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 was handled. I know nobody else probably cares, but I really like that. But it went well up until the side effects started to rear its ugly head. We're coughing up blood and getting abused again, but luckily she remembered the thing Millicent said and gave Komani some of her blood. And Komani had our fake out kiss and then took some more blood and then got to beat up some bad guy. Which is always a treat to watch, you know. Because he was calling her weak and all that not too long before that, but she's got the, uh, what was it called? Mercy of something or other. But anyway, she just, she gets all powered up and just beats the crap out of him. He teleports away. She comes back anyway, <laughs> finishes him off. It's just great to watch. Also really enjoyed her insistence that he apologize to Sakuna because he really should apologize to Sakuna. Bad guys like him usually don't, right? But you at least have to tell him to. And if he does it, then you punish him, right? I, I definitely can respect the way she handled that. Also, everyone, like, stabbing him was great. <laughs> like, the whole, yeah. I think they were, I think what they said was that uh, Sakuna killed them all, brought them back, and manipulated their memories to make them to do that, right? <laughs> which, w w w which case, that is what happened. <laughs> yeah, that's def definitely a really satisfying way to uh, to go. Although, like I said, Komani, I think, did the fin finishing blow, but still... <laughs> Sakura, I would say, did a good job of getting her revenge there. And we end off with a little bit of a nice scene between Komani and Vilhaze, but as usual, Komani's not very receptive to Vilhaze's advances, and even though she'll be super-duper buddy-buddy with Sakura right in front of her, which she always looks so salty and jealous about. But, yeah, pretty much everyone forgave Sakura. Like, it, she's a hard girl to stay mad at. Yeah, you got to reveal that the manipulation didn't even, didn't even work on the one guy, right? He was just, you know, kind of playing along. That was a cool reveal as well. But but he's a nice dude as well. And Hopefully we get to see her work on her uh, her novels, you know, uh, soon enough. That'd be great. 
<laughs> just look at her face as they're holding hands. It's so good. I feel bad for her, but it's still so good. But the bad guys aren't done. You know, Inverse Moon is not done. They'll still continue to cause problems, and Komani and friends will have to continue to deal with them. <laughs> but just how it goes in this world, so... Just gotta keep trucking along. But anyway, I really like the episode, so thank you for watching it. Hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.